100 days, 100 t-shirt designs, day 49. So this morning I was reading about Norse mythology and Ragnarok, and there's a being at the end of Ragnarok that basically sets the world on fire. Its name is Surtur. And when I was reading about Surtur, there's this great image on Wikipedia that was painted, I believe, by John Charles Dolman. And when I saw the image, I thought, oh my god, I have to make that into a t-shirt. So I thought I would try to remix it into something cool and original onto a t-shirt today. So I thought it would be cool if this figure was popping out of a frame. It would make it look more active and dynamic. So that was the first thing I did. And then I knew that most of this piece was going to rely on textures. And it was a great opportunity to use my old favorite brush from the Frankentoon pack, the Magma FX brush. So I tried to keep it to that texture and a few others and just use a few different simple fiery colors to make it look as if the world was on fire behind this figure and then most of the work was trying to make it look as if this figure was pulling itself out of the frame like the frame was a different part of existence and this creature was pulling itself into our part of existence and bringing fire with it and then of course it needed to say destroy because that's uh, the creature's whole mission I think and then once it was close I grouped all the layers and rasterized them and then I did my final texturing passes over that rasterized layer and I think that really helps to make it look like more of a cohesive piece I kind of fell into that technique by accident and now I'm doing it on everything and then the final touch was to make the sword glow in the original painting by Dolman the sword has this incredible glow and I definitely wanted that on the shirt so yeah the final look on this one I love because I love the original painting like it's incredible you should go check it out but I tried to do everything I could to just highlight and bring everything together for a t-shirt and I think it worked really well. I know when I started this challenge I said I was inspired by like the t-shirts of my favorite heavy metal bands and this one totally feels like it could be a heavy metal t-shirt. Okay thanks for watching this. If you enjoyed come back tomorrow.